Okay, good morning. This is just a really quick message that was on my spirit today. Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters of the light of the Lord Jesus. Beautiful humans watching. Okay, listen. I've said this before, but this is so important. Put your all in every single thing that you do, okay? You need to put everything into it. Your, all of your heart, right? All of your spirit, all of your love in everything that you do. If you put your name on something, that's, Jesus' name is on that, okay? You being a believer in God, okay? We are to be the perfect living example of what it looks like to serve Christ. So anything that you do, you need to put your all into, okay? I'm talking like cleaning your toilet to working at a 120 degree warehouse, like lifting boxes, you know, um, whatever you're doing, okay? Put your all into it. Put your put all of all of your effort, all of your energy. Don't just go to work today. If you have a job that you don't really like, don't just go to work trying to get a paycheck. Okay. Don't just go to work trying to do what you can do, the bare minimum to get by. You have to understand we are all energy. We are all vibrations. We are all like it's all about our heart and our intentions. You can't fake the funk. Like you can't just. People know, right? God knows first and foremost, but also people know. So if you just put your all into everything you do, more opportunities are gonna flow to you. More opportunities are gonna come. The Lord is gonna bless you more. Of course, give thanks, count each blessing. First and foremost, always do that right when you wake up. Count every single blessing you have. I don't care if it's because you woke up today and you don't have a headache. Maybe you're homeless. Maybe you don't have a job. Maybe you don't have a dollar to your name. Count the blessings that you do have, that you're breathing today, that you have another chance to start fresh. Every single day is a new day. Every single day is a new 24 hours, a new opportunity. But listen, okay, I've learned this lesson before. Like, I'm gonna say like a couple years ago, I started um, working at a shelter, right? And I had all of this, this same um, passion that I have right now. Um, it was an overnight position and when I started, I had all this energy, enthusiasm, you know, this, this motivation to change. And when I went in there, all the environment somehow got to me, okay? Everyone was very careless, um, didn't care about the clients, didn't care about, you know, the, the, the sadness, the domestic violence victims that we were dealing with, the children you know they just I, and, and that can happen in an industry okay people can get careless so they it was an overnight position and a lot of people like slept pretty much the whole time like just did the bare minimum didn't do the work and at first I went in there like with all the intention to make a big difference and I did in the lives of the women okay I, I never stopped caring for them I always put the clients first hallelujah that's something that I couldn't get off like I always put them first no matter if it was the job whatever the clients came first but I did fall into laziness okay yes it was an overnight positions and other people were like sleeping the most of the entire shift so, you know, me, I actually had another job at the time um, as well, like a, another full-time job. So I had two full-time jobs at this time. So long story short, I ended up starting to sleep a lot more than I did before this. Like I would sleep like half of my shift, sometimes like two, three hours, right? Which was not right. Everyone was doing it, you know, and some people sleeping like... Uh, you know, six to eight hours of their nine hour shift. Me, I was only sleeping like three to four, maybe two to four. But still, I wasn't supposed to. I was still breaking a rule. I was still, conf ugh. I still 
was not the perfect example of what it looked like to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I fell into the trap of what everyone else was doing. This is not what you do. You are the exception to the rule. Don't fall into that trap. It took me a while to get out of that, man. And now that I look back on it, I'm like, whoa, I didn't even realize that. Like, I was starting to just, um, you know, just, I guess, fit in with the crowd, right? Don't do this. This is, you are not, we are not, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Anything that you put your name on, any job you have right now. Oh, you know, another thing is, is I used to always say like, oh, I'm going to put like God first. And of course, like our clients, children, the needy, um, people that need stuff. I'm going to put them first over anything else, over my other responsibilities. And you can't do that either because God is watching you in everything that you're doing. He is the one that allows every single opportunity that you have. So if he's allowing you to be there, there's a reason for it. So you need to put your feelings aside, put your pride aside, first and foremost, become humble, become purely full of heart, love, intention. Whatever you do, dude, whatever you're doing, just remember this. It's so important. If you have a job today that you don't like, that you're starting, just put your all into it. Go give your all and watch what happens. You're going to get promoted right away. You're going to get another job, whatever, something else, something will happen. You will start to see the fruits of your labor. You will start to see the fruits of your hard work in everything that you do. Every single thing you put your name on, you tell your friend you're going to go uh, to dinner with her. You tell your sister you're going to help her pay half the rent. You've got to do these things, okay? Keep your word so you can be the living example of what it looks like to serve Jesus. We are little Christs running around the world. We are little... What would Jesus do? Yeah, you, you want to strive to be as perfect as possible. I mean, of course, we're not perfect, whatever. But we want to strive to be as Christ-like as possible. As humble, as loving, as giving, as cheerful, as obedient, you know? Come on. Rebellion out the door. Just keep your word. Honor your name. Honor the Lord, what he's done for you. Give your all. If you can't even um, hold a job down or you can't even, you know, give your word in that little thing, how is God going to give you the bigger blessing and the bigger responsibility? Okay. I love you all in the holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have a beautiful blessed day filled with miracles, dreams, visions, just supernatural wonder. God can do anything. I love you all. Have a good day. God bless. Bye.